I'm Matt. This is Lacey and Becky. Becky and I met in 98 while I was in the Army. I got out in 2005 and Lacey was born in 2006. Becky is such a tremendous leader in our family and Lacey is an absolute motivation and inspiration to us all. We feel very blessed to be a family and to be living where we live. I do. What? Yeah. Okay. Making these videos, taking pictures, these are just ways to document uh, the adventures that I'm blessed to be able to go on here in Cibolo, Texas. Hey, my name is Matt. We live in Cibolo. We live uh, just near a golf course. This golf course is kind of run down. doesn't really function as a golf course anymore. More like a bike and walk track. But there's a, a tank, uh, a water hazard that uh, we spotted some koi in. So uh, two days fishing, uh, day one caught Larry and Finn and uh, a little snappy. And then day two caught uh, Herb, caught Melinda and caught a little scrappy. And so these are the two days. Uh, before we get into that, I'm going to show you the terminal tackle and uh, how I rigged it up. Okay, so this is a quick look at uh, some of the items that I, I used. So this is, uh, I tied it up using a drop shot. This is just a very inexpensive uh, weight for something like that. So that's fine. About uh, 12 inches down, the weight is t about 12 inches down or so from the hook. And it's a very little hook you can see right uh, but it's real the thing that you can notice is it's real thick it's thick uh, wire so anyways um, can handle some weight this is what it is got these hooks from uh, Mike Pundick Matt Pundick's dad back in the day came by the house and dropped off some stuff. We used a lot of it, but anyways, so that's, that's a short, it's on a uh, drop shot. So if you, if you're not sure what, how to do a drop shot, then, then uh, definitely look it up. So these are the two rods. So these are the two rods that I use to catch the koi on the right. We have a heavy duty, uh, rod with a clicker, a bait clicker, and on the left we have a um, medium light, a much lighter setup. The right has 26 pound line, the left has like 10 pound line. I thought the bait clicker on the right was going to be more beneficial for this style of fishing, letting it sit on the bottom and just soak, but it turns out that the medium light setup with the Sahara 3000 was the way to go. Both of these rods are TFO, and this is the drop shot. There's the weight, and then up here is the hook. Now these are the two rods. Okay, so that's a brief description of the, the, the tackle and the rods and the bait and all that stuff that I used to catch them. So uh, here's the two days of fishing, enjoy. Lisa 
this one. All the way, dude. There you go. <laughs> okay. Now, we'll get this out of the way. Okay, get a better look at this thing. Okay, yesterday caught Larry and Finn. Larry's the big white. Finn was the orange and white. This is Herb. Oh, here they come. Pretty fish. This can't be, can't be Herb. Gotta be different. Here's a turtle. I caught him a while ago, unhooked him, and he's just been hanging out here. So
This fish is a different one altogether. That's a pretty. Sorry, dude. Haha, <laughs> I should have saw that coming. Okay, I'm gonna get this. This is uh, this is a little scrappy. A little scrappy. Okay, a little scrappy swam off. A little scrappy. Okay, and this little fella is still here with us. So I hope you enjoyed watching the two days of fishing. Uh, bottom line is the koi were extremely fun to catch and connect with and, and just, you know, be a part of. So um, in fact, at first we only saw one koi, but uh, then I, then, then these, these, uh, these other ones just kind of appeared. So I'm, I'm really curious to see how many more are in there? Anyways, today is Lacey's birthday, 14th birthday. So, gonna go begin festivities for that. Catch you later.